So let's talk about the Bragg's equation. WL Bragg and WH Bragg derived a mathematical relation to determine the interatomic distance from X-ray diffraction patterns. So the scattering of X-rays is heating and it is scattered. By crystals could be considered as a reflection from successive planes of atoms in the crystal. However, unlike reflection of ordinary light, the reflection of X-rays can take place only at certain angles, which are determined by the wavelength of X-rays and the distance between the planes of the plates. So, you are able to see the angle. This is how it will be. So, this is the angle I want to show you. This is referred to as the angle of reflection and re an angle of incidence and this is the distance between the plates. The fundamental equation which gives a simple relation between the wavelength of the X-ray and the interplanar distance in the crystal and the angle of reflection which is referred to as Bragg's equation. N lambda is equal to 2d sin theta where n is the order of reflection Lambda is the wavelength, d is the interplanar distance and theta is the angle of reflection. You are able to see the angle of reflection, the reflected X-rays. If we use X-rays of known wavelength theta, then the interatomic distance d in an unknown crystal can be calculated. On the other end, if we use a crystal whose interatomic distance d is known, then the wavelength of X-rays can be calculated easily using this one. So the Bragg's equation gives the essential condition for diffraction to occur. You are able to see if the distance and the angle, the distance is lesser, you are able to see the diffraction pattern. And here the reflection pattern is different. You can see it here. This is how. This is the one. When the experiment is done, there will be a maximum reflection at a particular angle theta. That angle should be noted. This is the theta angle. It corresponds to the first order reflection n equal to 1. If the angle theta is increased, a maximum reflection occurs at some other higher angle. It corresponds to the second order reflection n is equal to 2. Similarly, third, fourth and higher order of reflection occur at certain specific angles. So the value of angles obtained are in accordance with the Bragg's equation. Hence, the Bragg equation is experimentally verified. Let's talk about the Bragg's spectrometer method. This method is one of the most important methods for studying the crystals using X-rays. Here is the crystal. You got the scale and this is the rotating table. And here is the ionization chamber. You are able to see the incident X-ray and the diffracted X-ray. Here is the path for recording the things. To streamline it, you got a slit here. So, apparatus consists of a X-ray tube, which a narrow beam of X-ray is allowed to fall on the crystal mounted on a round thing rotating table. The rotating table is provided with a scale of and vernier from which the angle of incidence theta can be measured. An arm which is rotating about the same axis as the crystal table carries an ionization chamber. The X-rays are reflected from the crystal enters into the ionization chamber and ionize the gas present inside. Due to the ionization, the current is produced, which is measured by the electrometer. 
द करंट ऑफ आयनाइजेशन इज अ डायरेक्ट मेजर ऑफ इंटेंसिटी ऑफ सल रिफ्लेक्टेड बीम फ्रॉम द क्रिस्टल फॉर डिफरेंट एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस द करस्पॉन्डिंग आयनाइजेशन करंट इज कैलकुलेटेड दीज वैल्यूज आर प्लॉटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए क्रैफ For sodium chloride, the maximum reflection for 100 plane occurred at theta equal to 5.9 degree, 11.85, and 18.15 degree. The sines of the angles are 0.103, 0.205, and 0.312, which are the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. These peaks represent the first, second, and third order reflections. This ratio confirms the correctness of Bragg's equation.